Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we had really horrible news that, uh, that we're going to leave this place. That our dad is going to hover over us. Uh, but then, I heard a sound. Heavy, distinct knocks echo from the front door. Huh. What is it? There's only two people who would be knocking like that. <gasps> Miko and Hiromi. Yay. Slowly, the door opens. That's right. I didn't even bother locking it. Really? Robert could have came in and stole everything. You probably wouldn't have cared. Kata? Are you here? Where are you, Kata? Hey. Where have you been? You had both of us so worried. That's right. My behavior hasn't been normal. Well, you didn't leave the apartment for a couple of days. What happened, Kata? Uh, are you okay? You look... You look like you've seen a ghost. I can't hide the truth from them. They have to know about what's going to happen. Yeah, they do. I scored really badly on the last test. My father heard about it. As in, he asked people to look into it. And he was furious. He told me that the swimming club was a waste of time. That means I'm going to be leaving this town. Neither of them reacted to the news well. They just stared at me. Angry flames in their eyes. But we have the tournament. Why aren't you going to say anything to stop this? Yeah, see? Friggin' Kata. You don't get it. I've never been able to choose my own path. My father would never accept me having my own opinion. My entire family has looked down on me as the incapable son. And I don't have anything to prove otherwise. Yes, you do. Swimming? And your two girlfriends right here. Romy walks up to me. I expected better of you. I know you're better than this, Kata. She's right, you know. You really are stupid. Just because your dad told you that you can't doesn't mean that you can't. Yeah. Do something for yourself. Do something to make yourself happy. Yeah, Kata. I've been trying to tell you the whole time. But, 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 I... How can I possibly stand up to someone whose shadow I've lived in my whole life? By stepping out of his shadow. Yeah, Kata. All you will do if you stay in it is wither away. I finally get it now. I finally get all of it. Yeah, get what? This is the reason why you don't care. It's not that you can't achieve anything despite what people think. We've watched you go from being barely able to swim to being able to rival us. We've both been swimming for years, yet you seem to have natural talent for it. Oh. See? There you go, Kata. That's right. I can barely keep pace with you now. You can do something if you actually care about it, Kata. I think what your dad really wants is for you to actually do something for yourself. Yeah. Is... Is that what he really wants? Well, you never tried. Miko's already picking up the phone and shoving it into my hand. Call him right now. He wants you to prove that you're getting results, right? Make a bargain with him. If you win the swimming tournament, you get to stay. Ooh. That's a... Hmm. That's a good, uh... Good bargain. That's a good idea, actually. You win that and you prove to him that the swimming club actually means something to you. If all he sees his results, then he'll let you stay. You... you really think so? It's worth a try, isn't it? Yeah, it's always worth a try. You can't try something without actually trying. <laughs> That's the question. If all he wants is results, then I just need to prove it to him. Alright. Here it goes. Both of them hold their breath as they watch me punch in his number. We'll have to see if he's available. I don't call often, but he normally responds when I do. 
the pair wander over to my lounge, sending themselves in. Hello? Hey, Dad. Keda? Why are you calling right now? We need to talk. Well, okay, I can make time. If I can prove to you that the swimming club hasn't been a waste of my time, will you allow me to stay in this school? But how would you do that, Keda? There is a national swimming tournament coming up. Yeah. If I come first place, then can I stay here? Can I stay in the swimming club? You, you want to stay? Yes, I do. That's why I want to prove to you that I can get results. If I do that, will you let me stay? He goes silent for a very long time. It's a big ask. Are you sure you can actually do it? Hmm. Yes. I'm sure. Woo, there you go, Keda. I can do it, Dad. Just give me a chance to prove it. Well, I can tell that he has his hand on his chin. I suppose I can do that. If you make it first place, you can stay. But I thought you were happy to leave that school. I guess I changed my mind. What? How would Keda be happy? You were the one that, forced, that is forcing him to leave. I see. Is that really the truth? What were you really thinking that whole time? We can talk about it for later. For now, just let me prove my worth. Very well. I need to go. Work starting to pile up, like always. I'll be sending my assistant to keep an eye on the tournament. Before I go, though, do your best, Kida. Don't worry, I will. As I hang up the phone, Miko and Hiromi look on with hope. Did he agree to the plan? Ooh, he did. He did, Miko. Did he, Keda? Yeah, he did. Ooh. They both look overjoyed. What are we waiting for then? Time to get training. I share Miko's sentiment. Grab your swimming gear and head to the pool. All right, we're gonna practice and train to win this tournament. Woo! It's time for special swimming training. Wait, what's that? What's special swimming training? Hmm. The full reality of it hasn't really come to me yet. What? The full reality. I'm really going to be competing in a swimming tournament. Oh, that? But, yeah, really good. A tournament which is probably going to define my future for me. Miko and Hiromi have high hopes for me, but I'm still not sure about it myself. If you don't have confidence in yourself, Keda, you're gonna do really bad. You gotta have confidence for yourself too. Can I really compete with people who have been training their whole lives? Yeah? If you have talent in, in something and you're passionate about it, you can skyrocket through the leagues and ranks. I only just got in the pool a little while ago. So? Even with those two training me, I still don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. Hmm. The gauntlet has been thrown down with my father. Oh, I haven't heard that term in a long time. With those bad grades, this is my last chance to prove to him that I can really accomplish something here. There you go. Have confidence in yourself. There will be no failing this tournament. Right on. If I come first, then there is no way that he would make me transfer away. Despite all that though, I want something to prove to myself that I'm not really a loser. Hey, hey, hold on there a second. You're not a loser, Keda. This is my chance. This is my opportunity to show that I can do something for myself. Once I can finally find satisfaction in what I do, then I will be able to finally find my way. Yeah, you gotta follow your dreams, Keda. That's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. But this shouldn't be just about me. I shouldn't just do it for myself. I should do it for those two as well. Yeah, that's true. But but you should probably 
do it more for yourself because if you don't then well oh i guess in in your terms if you don't do well you're gonna be sent away so you gotta do well for those two as well so to stay ah okay gotcha it would be selfish of me not to try my best for them uh yeah yeah i guess especially after they've tried their best for me oh well okay yep I just can't get over these feelings of anxiety I have. Well, it's a competition. With this competition looming down on me, I feel like I've locked up. I can't break out of this mental block I have. Oh, I'm scared. More scared than I've ever been in my life. And that fear is strangling me right now. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Uh. You just ignore it or take a deep breath. Well, you gotta take a deep breath because that always helps because you're getting more oxygen into your blood stream. Hmm. Yep. Take a deep breath. I take a deep breath before I step in. Step into what? And we will find out in the next episode of Sakura Swim Club. So, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bargaining with My Dad. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!